G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I've got a bit of a hangover. I've got a friend staying and, you know, we've been hitting the beers pretty hard and, um, well, there's nothing better than after a nice big night, the next day, some nice greasy food. And what better greasy food to have than fish and chips? So, today I'm going to make a nice beer battered fish, which I'm just going to whip up for lunch right now. So, join me as I make some beer battered fish and chips. So all you're going to need for this is some potatoes, fish, this is a nice big piece, isn't it? One cup of self-raising flour and one cup of your favourite beer. Alright, so first thing I need to do is get my chips on. Or fries, as we call them over here in America. So I'll just cut these into nice, small, sort of chip size wedges. And by the magic of YouTube, that's done! So, straight into a bowl. I'll add some salt. Add some cold water, and I'm going to get these on the boil. So we want those to boil for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the batter. So for this, I'm going to need one cup of self-raising flour and one cup of beer. This is for me, not for the batter. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. So we just add that to the batter. I mean the uh, flour, it's called. It's not batter yet. While those potatoes are cooking, I'm just going to cover this and stick it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes, I'm guessing. And that fork goes in nicely, so that's done. Just come over here to the draining station. And drain that water off. Alrighty, so now all I'm going to do is fry these off. Let's just check the oil first. Yep, that's bubbling. So, just plonk our potato in there. Alright, well while those fries are frying, I'll just put some flour on a plate there. And I'll just cut my fish into my pieces. And I'm just going to coat these in some flour. That'll help the batter to stick. So I'll just come back over to these fries. They actually look like they could be ready. So I'll whack these on a plate with some paper on it. Now I've got my batter, which was in the fridge. I'll just make sure that that's still batter. Yep, still batter. So I'll just dunk my fish in there. And I'm just gonna fry that until it's golden brown. All right, well that fish looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the color on that. Perfect. Right, well this is ready to serve up. So I'll just drain that off as well on some paper. Let's plate this up. Some fries. And my fish. How good does that look? Of course it would look nicer with a little wedge of lemon on top. And there you have it. Nice, quick, simple, easy, homemade fish and chips. Alrighty, well have a look at that. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Well, let's tuck on in and see what it tastes like. Mmm, those fries are really nice, but it's all about the fish, isn't it, so? Oh, have a look at that, beautifully cooked all the way through, steaming hot still. Mmm, and that batter is just really hot, flaky and delicious. Oh, mmm. Anyway guys, that was really tasty, really quick and easy, that batter is really nice, I'm sure you're going to like it, and... I'll tell you what, that greasiness of that fish is just going to go down well, so well. Oh yeah! Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember to show this video some thumb and love. And I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen. It'll be a bad fish I made for you today. So tasty, crunchy and greasy. It was amazing. So, oh yeah.